rating scale before, uh, you know, Scott's helped us understand the differences here. Um, we've also made changes. We've got rid of the feedback messages and we've changed the signals. So I'm just going to just take you, take you. So um, this is what the new um, ORS results page uh, looks like. Um, can you talk a little bit more about um, about the the messages and uh, and 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 why you thought it was a good idea at this point to to get rid of feedback messages and so the signals we've uh, we've changed from the the hands to just the cleaner yellow green or or uh, or red dot. Can you talk a little bit more about that, Scott? No, I think again initially the hands and the lengthy messages were uh, our attempts over a decade ago to put something useful uh, into the system for client or for rather for therapists to think about when the, when the cases might be off track, when the client wasn't responding like the average client in the system. Um, but now having people that are experienced with using the tools if they see that the SRS scores are below the clinical cutoff, they know by definition that this is an area where they should be focused. And so that kind of detailed worded messages really aren't necessary. In addition, we've noticed that simply alerting therapists, simply saying, look, the client is in the yellow zone, the caution zone, enables most of those therapists to start talking with their clients about why that might be and what they might do, both the client and the therapist to facilitate uh, more change, more reliable change, more change predictive of people that end treatment successfully. So I think the words in a way at this point get in the way. Uh, simply giving people the signals uh, tells them instantly they either need to slow down, yellow, caution, pay attention, uh, green, keep going, and red, you need to really stop and take a hard look uh, at this. I think something you said that, 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 that I think is key here Scott, as you said, people are more familiar with the system, and of course, of course, there's new users coming onto the system all the time. But I think really what it is is, over the years, what has been learned is uh, a lot more education is required, and so that today um, clinicians are in the system, uh, they ha they've got more understanding of of what what these measures mean, and they can. Uh, we're hoping they they have the ability to clinically interpret it themselves as opposed to us giving them that information before. When, when we just right. didn't have, wasn't the same kind of training available and, and resources. As not, today. not as widespread. And, and of course, you know, you have the, uh, the e-learning system that's associated with my outcomes that people can go to when they first start. Um, uh, we, we, I think the thing I got about the messages were that they weren't exactly quite right for the individual therapist. Uh, or that they were found to be annoying, et cetera. And again, for us, this was just our first attempt to try to download our brains at that time about what we would think about when the client scores weren't like the average client. Now we're saying that the client scores are, in fact, predictive of either success or failure. So when you get a yellow, you know that that client is at risk for a negative outcome unless you do something. Uh, next line for me uh, or way to think about that is to move up and look at the yes problem in the relationship. But that's not the only area that clinicians might consider changing. So it was just one suggestion and mm. uh, I think you know, with the simpler interface it gives clinicians a snapshot. It goes together so nicely with the scatter plot. The idea that you can simply look and get an instant picture of whether your particular client is on track and how your clients overall are faring on track, at risk, or off track. Uh, all of those things are designed to make the process of getting and using the feedback much more simple. This scatter plot, for example, Cindy, I, I just think it's fabulous. Uh, it, it looks great. It gives you that instant snapshot of how many clients you're seeing uh, at what numbers of sessions and whether or not, and which clients you really need to attend to. So in this particular scatter plot, I can see that a little over half, if this were my caseload, a little over half of my clients I need attention to. I need to click and hover over those yellow dots, find out who the red dots are, especially at session 10 and session 13. These are folks that I've seen for a significant chunk, a chunk of time and still 
they are at risk or on track for a negative outcome. Um, it's such a nice, clear picture of where things are at overall on my caseload. And it, it's, it's not wordy, it's, it's uh, the, the visual impact I think is simple, um, but also strong. For me, the visual impact of this message, uh, particularly to the client, uh, you know, I mean, these these sing signals are uh, people have complained to the signals themselves, right? Or you know, can be off-putting, and this is this is just it, it provides the information without you know big alarm bells going off. So yeah, I think it it it, it is. It's just a, it's a cleaner it's a cleaner simpler look, and cleaner and simpler is is always better. 